Come on, Annie. I'm on a date here, okay? Like the first good thing that's happened in forever. So don't make me get ugly with you. I'll pull out my hook. All right, all right. All I'm saying is just think about it, okay? Yeah, yeah. Fine. Okay. Oh, hey. Hi. I was just uh, keeping your seat warm. Oh, that's okay. Excuse me. Bye, Annie. Thank you. There you go. All right. So is she all right? Yeah, yeah, she uh, she quit fusion today, so she's not a happy camera. Oh, sorry to hear that. I, I didn't know. No, it's okay. Oh, cheers. It's uh, been pretty crazy there for a while. Mm. Nice, but it it's not just that. I mean, she's been kind of off for a while now. Well, that's understandable. Went through hell with her brother. I'm sure it's not easy dealing with a psychotic relative. Yeah, tell me about it. No. <laughs> no, actually, why don't you tell me about your adventures in Africa? It's um, pretty basic stuff, you know, coffee, phones, copying, but it's a start. And it's a great way Absolutely. for her to watch and learn how a business operates. I mean, sales, marketing, distribution. Wow. It's a great opportunity here. Yeah, but actually our head of marketing quit today, Annie Lavery. She just walked out. Wow. See, <laughs> there you have it. You just never know when opportunity is going to walk up and knock you right in the head, huh? Listen, I got to get back to work. Uh, it's really been nice sitting here, getting to know you a little better, and thanks for the phone call. Don't worry about your mother so much, okay? Uh, I got it. You know you don't. See ya. Bye. Lady, y'all. So? Listen, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have uh, surprised both of you like that. That was wrong. Yeah, obviously. Now that he's gone, you want to tell me what that was all about? <clears throat> so, that was my first week in Africa. And it was the first night, actually. And uh, I, I wake up in the morning, and there's a big snake curled up right next to me in my bed. Uh, well, I actually know some people here in town that wake up to that every morning. <laughs> really? No, come on, seriously, a, a snake in your bed? Yes, yes. Uh, Big sucker. You probably. I don't know. I didn't stick around long enough to find out. In fact, it was like one of those uh, cartoons where the cat is there one second and then the next second he's hanging off the ceiling by all four claws. That's what it, it... In fact, to this day, I cannot just, you know, go to bed without checking the bed to see if there's something in the bed that I don't want to be in the bed, you know? <laughs> anyway, um, I hope... I hope that this is making you happy or you're having a good time because I'm... I'm having a good time. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm kind of rusty with the, you know, dating thing. Not that this is a date. Well, it's the day kind of, but I don't like to call it a date. No, stop it. You're, you had me fooled from the beginning. Come on, look, you've already got me in costume here. I'm laughing at your snake stories. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. You're way ahead of the game. Mm. You're not going to start sneezing again, are you? I took an antihistamine. Good. So, since uh, I seem to have helped you with some brilliant idea, whatever the heck it is, I thought maybe you can give me the night off. Oh, really? You have a hot date or something? Yes, I do, actually. With whom? Uh, I don't think that's any of your business. Linda, have you ever heard of corporate espionage? Yeah, spying. Is well, I'm in a position where, unfortunately, I have to keep a close eye on all of my employees. Even if, unwittingly, they become involved with somebody who wants to know more about them. But you work in here. And you hear all sorts of things that my competition would love to hear. So I don't think it's too much for me to know with whom you're spending time. Especially since you're supposed to be working here tonight. Well, you don't have to worry. It's Jackson Montgomery. You have a date with Montgomery? You, you mean a uh, romantic date or, or uh, the attorney client's date? Romantic? Why are you so surprised? We like each other. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's uh, you and uh, Erica's ex. <laughs> Fascinating. 
Yeah, this was just a clumsy way of me trying to make things right with the family. Now, clearly it wasn't very well thought out, and I put both of you guys in a pretty lame position. Will you accept my apology? <laughs> yeah, of course. I guess I just, you know, it's gonna take me a while. What? Getting over my past and my past job. I mean, even when I met Kendall and Greenlee, they just kept on going on about taking pictures of me and being the new face of Fusion. Randy, that's great. No, it isn't. I don't want my picture out there. Do you know how many people might recognize me? Blow my only chance of being legit? That's all I need, bring that kind of bad news down on Fusion, their new models and ex-hooker. <laughs> They'd love me then. Hey. You are going to bury your past. You are going to succeed. And I'm going to do everything I can to make sure of that. Yeah, well, don't try so hard, okay? <laughs> All right. I'll give you a call after my shift. Yeah. Thanks, Frankie. What time are you meeting, Jackson? Eight, at the Yacht Club. Why? Well, I want you to have a specially wonderful time tonight. So you take this. Go buy yourself a new dress, some shoes, a purse. Whatever you want. Knock yourself out. Why are you doing this? Because if you hadn't had that sneezing attack a while ago, I wouldn't have had the brilliant idea that I had. <laughs> so, consider this just a, um, well, a reward for a job well done. Now, if you're going to go shopping, you better be on your way. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Mr. C. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Well, thank you for having such a whack sense of humor. I never would have guessed that. Really, why am I too serious? No, no, but slightly serious. Mm. <laughs> it's nice to finally meet the man behind the stethoscope. I'll work on that. You know, they're about to start the dance music in a few. If you want to stick around. Really? Yeah. Break dancing. Really? Professional. Wow. I would, but I have an apartment <laughs> that I think is coming through. I'm not. So I have to, I mean, but I'd love to do this again, you know? I would love to, but under one condition, what? you are the one that has to dress up next time. <laughs> really? I don't have anything to wear. Maybe I could go the high patch. Look what I've started. Oh, you've created a monster. Mm -hmm. The wheels are turning. <laughs> you sure you want to bring that lamp with you, too? Well, how is that everything you have? Well, look, I have more. I'm, I'm just not bringing it. But Dre, this is it. After tonight. Hey, you'll be with me, right? Yeah. Well, then that's all I need. You think your mom and Jesse have any idea? No, they just think I'm going back to Paris. They have no idea that I'm never coming back. Get me enough pills. And Randy, 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 Randy never have to worry about me again. Hubbard, 